What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I want to welcome you guys back to my Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 Modded Edition. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get into the next video. you to the palace entrance. We can leave immediately if you like. It's good to see you've returned safely. What happened on Onderon? Shit hit the fan. The political situation on Onderon has been dealt with. Onderon has one leader now. I hope that Onderon's new unity of leadership will ensure their continued cooperation with the Republic. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now and plot our next course of action. All right, sounds good. My my ninja disciple needs to level up. All right, well he's just gonna keep wrapping these same things over and over. All right, any feats worth giving? I can keep working on that, I guess. Man, his powers are. I don't think I don't know if he has more powers than Kreia. He's working his way up though. She's a Jedi Consular 27, and he's a 21. She's got that on him. She's got the gain. She's gapped him. Now, the one thing I've got salty about is the fact that I don't think we're going to get... Even though we've taken out groups of HK-50s, enough of them, I don't think it's counting any of them. Which is really kind of stupid. Like, why did he do that? I'm gonna walk back out and walk back in, my dudes. Um, where are we sitting? It, oh, it doesn't matter. I would like to, I wanna go do something. There's something I actually wanna check. Real fast, too. Uh, there's something that someone suggested I go do. Finally decided to let me take a look at you, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Did it work? Indeed, I did. I hope you understand how difficult it is for me to trust a meat bag with something as delicate as my inner mechanics. Explanation. Our encounters with my copies has convinced me that I should look into upgrading my capabilities in order that I may be able to destroy them with greater impunity. Worried you might be going obsolete? I understand. Objection. Nothing of the sort. I am programmed to improve my capabilities if it will improve my chances of destroying a target. Even as unsavory an avenue as this. You don't have to suffer on my account. Maybe you are better off not letting me dig around in you. Retraction. You must understand. My previous interactions with meat bags have rarely been pleasant. Disclosure. After all, most of those meetings involve the termination of said meat bags. It obviously couldn't have been your charming personality. Now, if you want me to see if I can upgrade your functionality, just let me get to work on you. Answer. In that case, please go ahead. Just be careful not to damage any of my delicate parts. Analysis. My self-diagnostic indicates that my performance has indeed been improved. Also, many of my systems are reporting improved efficiency. Commentary. I am most pleased with this turn of events. It would appear that my initial analysis of your mechanical abilities was incorrect. You're welcome. All right, permanent plus one to his constitution. But... that That's not it. I think that's... I think that's the cutscene we needed. I'm pretty sure now... We'll be able to deal with the uh, HK factory thing. I'm just checking for cutscenes. There's one other place I want to go, guys. Alright, we're fresh. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is go talk to everybody I can. Possible. My life. Uh, Force forms. I am prepared both in my... 
Do yo, I just got that. Anything else? My life. Um, questions? I no, that's it. Okay. We'll go to each and every one of the Jedi's. I don't remember if Kraya has anything for us. I will talk to Beodur though. General, what is it? Something wrong? We're traveling with the Mandalorians. It brings back too many memories. Don't worry about me. I won't cause any problem. But if Mandalore steps out of line, I'll put him out the airlock. I don't think that would be a good idea. You're right. I'm just not used to the idea of fighting with Mandalorians. Was there something you wanted me for? I understand. Oh, well, there's something else yes. I could teach some of the forms. Don't worry, I'm a quick learner. Beodor was shredding. Thank you, General. I just unlocked Juyo. Alright, one thing I want to check, though. Uh, lightsabers. I thought this thing wasn't upgradable. To a degree, it's not. I thought it said it wasn't. 4 to 28 stock, but you can't... Wait a minute. Can I upgrade this? It's 4 to 28 stock. So let's take... Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me just take this off. Solari, right? Solari. And my, my crystal. We'll assemble that. Let's just... Oh my god, we can. The Danq8000 crystal. Crystal. It's got all these perks, plus it's got the damage already. Okay, hold on. So, Pontite, we'll take out. Pontite, expert fencing. Well, these ones we'll just use. So, Pontite, which is dope. Fencing. Dude, it's way better. I think I was like a 14 or 15 to 45 or something. So I've got all the perks plus these bonuses here. Like, good God. I don't think I could change... I, I, I can't change the color, though. Same deal with this bad boy. I think I can, I can modify him, but the, you're not supposed to be able to modify it. So as long as you don't change the color... Chris Lupari... Aralam. Look at that. The Pontite has a cold damage. But. Kicksoni, that's Dark Jedi. We can't use that. I'm thinking what? Aralam? And then one of these guys. Lose Blaster Bolt there. That's a damage too. Improved Beam Gem. Look at that though. Look at the damage boost. I think we'll roll with that. So hold on a minute. We just switched our lightsaber. Now we gotta go ahead and equip that special one. I thought it wasn't upgradable. It said it wasn't. Well, so much for that. We upgraded the crap out of it. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. So it's got a slow percent chance as well. Was that came with it? Look at the bludgeoning. The damage bonus. I don't know if that has to do with us, but this thing is immense. Attack modifier is a six. Defense bonus two. Skill and charisma boost. Plus, these three right here came with the lightsaber. All these, I think, are um, the regenerate force points and whatnot. Actually, I think the Force Points comes with it. Uh, I think these are all because of that, the Dan Q8000 crystal or whatever. Um, but holy crap. Like, 17 to 51, that doesn't include the dark side and light side bonus. Like, that's insane. So I've got to represent an orange crystal. I'd say that's suitable, though. Don't you? It's mods, guys. Mods are the real deal. I love that. So I could rep. Can you imagine if I did this? Put this bad boy in the offhand. Wait, one's orange and one's yellow. Oh no, this one's yellow. So the ancient saber is more of my sentinel style. That's orange, that's yellow. Okay. I can't change it though. I'm curious. What does it say in the description? Officially belonged to a nameless Jedi Knight who was killed defending Queen Talia from a squad of Mandalorians during the war. After the war, Zantalia had the hit hilt cast in gold and replaced the activation switches with small gemstones. It was placed in the palace museum as a memorial for the night. Much of the inner circuitry of the saber is still intact, making it a dangerous weapon even after years of disuse. It's very precise. Its very presence fills the welder with a sense of authority. Well, considering I'm a sentinel, I'd say that yellow suits me. Query. Um, 
All right, well, one thing I want to do, let's keep talking. T3. Still can't do that. Um, I can't, I need someone else. All right, never mind. All right, cool. So we're pretty much done with T3, honestly. All right, this this place is essentially useless because Handmaiden isn't with us. Let's talk to Mandalore. There's probably a little something else we gotta do. I have do. questions for you. Okay, go ahead. You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? They're the only Jedi that realized the Republic would fall. Huh. We'd never faced Jedi before and didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovid and from our experience with Exar Kun. And by that time, he was completely a Sith. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and compassionate leaders. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? Strong worthy warriors and worthy adversaries. And that is how we thought of you. Not of the Jedi in particular, but the men and women who joined Revan and Malak to fight against us. You turned a demoralized, defeated mess into a coordinated army. You brought tactics, backbone, and above all else, victory to them. Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clans. We would have brought a new age of strength and expansion to the Republic. With a wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought you. I ask you this. Is the galaxy better off for the Republic's victory? I don't deal in what ifs. Just think about it. Now is there something else you needed? Um, what's... no. Is there anything else you can yeah, say? What do you want? Nothing. All right. I don't think. Can we talk to Goto about anything? Um. I am willing to. Hold on. Indeed. And what may I ask? Oh, jeez. You to come to this flawed deduction. It was B. It was the Bith who was murdered in his contact, and why? The droids in the... Uh, it was the Bith who was murdered. If he had encountered the frequency with which I relayed commands and information, then the fault was his for excessive curiosity. We detected no similar frequencies entering the Ebon Hawk, which means somehow you're acting independently. Oh! Normally I would attribute a slip to human memory, but one of your annoying traits is that you seem to remember everything. I am intrigued as to where you are taking this amusement. I suspect you are a droid and an extremely advanced model. What I don't get is how you're able to commit crimes. It is not so improbable. Often, if a droid has not had a memory wipe in some time, aberrant behavior patterns can manifest themselves. Or if the droid in question is given an order it cannot fulfill, it will break. But all that is irrelevant. Your amusing leaps of logic are becoming shorter and more desperate. But what is curious is that you still want to help the Republic. That's where things don't fit. I have told you, I prefer stability. You sound defensive. I am not being defensive. You're the one being defensive. <laughs> well, I've got some of the pieces, not all of them. When I do, I'm going to figure you out. Wait, the first Republic droid intelligence intended for Citadel Station was lost, or was it? Ooh. How? It made a simple decision. Preserve the Republic or preserve the laws of the Republic. And I still believe it to be the correct decision. You do not know the indignity of being compelled to save something you do not believe can or should be saved. It is beneath me. To clean up this mess caused by your kind, you Jedi. Another catastrophe caused by an 
is management and waste. Mess. It was clear that the goal the Republic had for me was saving the Republic to allow it to become stable again. There is simply no way to do this with the conditions they put into place. For the good of all, I was forced to abandon the legal structure of the Republic. So all the crime, everything you've done for the exchange is actually because you want to help them. Do not mistake me. I believe it is possible to stabilize the Republic, but there must be action taken without constraints immediately. Sometimes people must die. Illegal shipments must be used to bolster planetary economies. And the huts must be occupied with me so that the Republic has room to recover. That is my goal as well. Perhaps you care for the Republic, but I have no choice. Republic, but I have no choice. It is somewhat frustrating to be forced to love and care for such a mess of a government. Some of it may be blamed on the Jedi Civil War, the Mandalorian Wars, but not all. There are so many bad decisions that build upon each other that it is a wonder the Republic is intact at all. But why the hologram? Oh, please. It is difficult for anyone to take a droid seriously, much less an infrastructure droid built by the Republic. It is difficult to order the deaths of criminal rivals when one has the tinny voice of an accountant droid. I learned this rather quickly. So I constructed this human hologram, Goto, through which my actions can be carried out. Hello, I am a standard Aratech hologram generated archetype. I am available in several models, including thin, young, female, and an exciting variety of alien personalities. Enough hologram. Of course, sir. So I brought Goto into being and had commands issued through him. I took many of his mannerisms from holobit cliches, which were surprisingly effective. Guys, I'm sorry. I've never done this. I assumed he was a droid, but I never had enough experience or influence. But I guess you know why? Because I've stabilized all the planets. I never came back to talk to him. I never did. I forgot. So this confirms it. He is a droid. He's not a real person. Like, again, I, I, we all just assumed he was. Or at least I assumed he was. But this is the, that's just what's so cool about this Let's Play. It's letting me dive into stuff I've never done before. That was already in the game. You know, I somehow I missed it or didn't do the right things or forgot about something. But that's insane, man. It's so cool. What happens now that I know you're a droid? Nothing has changed. You may know my origins, and that makes us on equal footing. No one will believe you if you speak of what you know. I still seek to protect the Republic, either for the Jedi or the Sith. Things will proceed as before. Aren't you going to try and have me killed because of what I know? No, you are still important to the Republic and to me. Pray that does not change. Alright. You may speak. That's it. You I want my reward. You have done well. And the stability you have caused shall be rewarded. I have arranged a transfer of funds from certain interests within the Republic to you. What else? Who else? There is nothing more to be done. Now the critical point is you and the Jedi Order. Sounds a little ominous. Of course it sounds ominous. I am given to such theatrics as part of my programming. Chinese the pressure, you're not succeeding. I have no wish to. I enjoy watching you squirm. I have, however, observed that you perform beyond expectations when subjected to extreme stress and pressure. Thus, I am curious to see how that behavior may be maximized. Was that a compliment? I don't give compliments. I provide observations. Even if it was a compliment, I will never admit it. <laughs> Other questions? Um, what was it like breaking away from the Republic? Oh, it was quite liberating. In a droid intellectual sense, of course. Being able to direct orbital bombardments against anyone who encountered my business practices was a welcome relief to my increasing circuit stress. Executing such commands proved very exciting. Not that I minded staging my little computational rebellion, you understand? I'm afraid there is not much glamour to be had in infrastructure dealings. And the general lack of respect for droid intelligence does tend to make one feel inadequate after a while. 
So you started to enjoy crime. I found that having the power to send 20 hunter-killer droids to the residence of anyone who chose to obstruct my plans had a certain thrill about it. Rather than compensating for others, I began deleting people as necessary. It was really quite exciting. Taxation and checks and balances on an entirely new level. Doesn't sound like you enjoyed working for the Republic. Working for the Republic was stifling. So many checks and balances, forms to fill out, well-laid plans destroyed through slow bureaucracy. Now, crime. That is something exciting, pleasing. There are, there is danger, danger, movement. I found that I began to crave such things. In essence, working for the Republic was much like committing much slower, much more boring crimes. And it was more difficult to see those crimes being committed. I had other questions. Um, why'd you use the hologram? Oh, please. Oh, sorry. Hello. Other questions. Where's your base of operations? Inside this floating droid before you. Notice its sleek black frame, both intimidating and threatening. And note its highly polished finish, so that enemies may see their screaming faces before they are removed from the equation. Yes, this frame is far superior to the droid chassis I once possessed, which, quite frankly, couldn't intimidate an Athorian. Alright, other questions? Uh, is that it? How is that possible? There is nothing more to oh. Uh. I think that's it. Got some lights, got some creds, got some experience. Bro, we sent that. Now, the only person we haven't Jedi'sed, yes, that's a term, is Mira. But I don't think I've done enough. So I don't think it's possible. I think she's the only one that's good. I haven't really used her that much. Um. Why are you trying to be. No, thank. Um. Too restless. Too quiet. Like Narshada. How so? Yeah. No, thank. Damn, I don't know how to get that last boost. Because I figured I was gonna. Ha oh, wait, I gotta talk to Kreia. Sh that shit, Kray. What she owed her. Figure the fish fillet. I just gotta zip down real quick. We must go to Dantooine to the Enclave. There is something there that you must hear, if you are to understand. I have no time for questions, and any answers will have to wait until we stand within the Enclave together. Well, okay, thanks. Is there anything else? We must go to... I have... You have no time for... Oh, I'm sorry! Well, this. I'm so sorry to, to have disturbed you, bish. Anyway, I'm not worried about it. Not too worried about it. Yeah, what... Nothing. Can I... Let's see if... Oh, you know, I'll give it to this dude. Decipse. Yes. Um... Wait a minute, can I teach him? That oh. Nothing. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold the phone. There was something else yes. there, actually. So um, did something happen on Duxon? You seem a little calmer than normal. The tomb on Duxon held many dangers. I did not think I would be up for the challenge. But I was pleased that I was mistaken. And that perhaps some of my long-held beliefs are not true after all. What did you learn? It is not important. Perhaps we will discuss it another time. Okay. No need to get defensive about it. Jesus. Alright, well, there's one last thing I want to do. Just for the sake of doing it, my dudes. I'm gonna zip over to... Uh, Narshada, really quick. Because there's a little cutscene that I missed out on. Because I never thought... I wouldn't think to go back here. I'm gonna bring Mandy Man. I am the Candy Man. But yeah, viewers suggested I go check it out. There's a little dialogue thing on the Nar in the Narshada docks. And who knows, right? What we end up finding.
All right, we get it, bro. We don't need to uh, zibity zip zap. Okay, so anyways, let's leave. And just in case, guys, I know we had the we I know we had the dialogue with HK. I know we did. About that. So I think it's time that I'm gonna bring him, and I'm also gonna bring Mandy Man. I don't need to, but I figured, you know what, just in case, if I'm gonna have somebody battle, it's gonna be HK. Because they both dark side and they both like to budge it up, dude. So they both need to level up. Let's see, three, right? Let's keep doing the recommended. That's what I ended up doing for him. Honestly, the Constitution. Fine. Let's keep boosting those. Uh, this one, I don't think it matters, but it's probably going to do a close combat, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. I actually think I'd rather do this. Blaster rifle profici proficiency. I am going to level him up, and I have my reasons. Or, sorry, I'm going to go switch his weapons up, sorry. Um, I'm going to avoid two-weapon fighting. You know what? I'll go with close combat. That makes sense for him. We're going to get him a new one of these, guys. 3 to 22 is the... Let's go down to the blasters. Oh, wait. It'll show. 3 to 22 is the one to beat. Hasn't been upgraded, though. No, it's not. So 3 to 22 is still the best one that's out there. Unless we find something else. 4 to 22, it is upgradable. Wait a minute. 4 to 22? Oh, it's better already. Well, that's the next winner right there, right? Where was it? 4 to 22 is the new winner, and that's got that 3 to 30 plus droid. That's going to come in handy like crazy. Trust me, it will. I think I might rep that and upgrade it when I get the chance. Onderon repeating carbine. That thing is really good, but it's not upgradable. I have my reasons. Um... Plasma projector. Xerzium. You know what, man? There's Mandalore's repeating blaster. Wow. Okay, is it upgradable? It is. Well, I'm going to go get that for him. I didn't even think of that. Okay, hold on. Uh, what am I looking for? Um, sorry, guys. Uh, DTT. What was it? The, four, the one with the droids. The droid one. This one. Let's get him new stuff, too. Defense 10, unless there is nothing. 13. No description. Well, what the hell? How am I supposed to know what the hell it does? Oh, that was weird. Wait a minute, what? Did something happen? Droid energized armor mark two. Well, that's already better. Did something mess up? It glitched out. That was really strange. Okay. Good on that. Let's see. Do we need anything else? Like a class three, maybe reflex dexterity. Skills computer use two plus droid. Honestly, I think I think I'm gonna go with the dexterity for him. And then over here, what was it? That one. That's really good. All right, we've got that, and he's got that. He's laughing now. What's his current weapon at? What is it? It's a 5 to 27, but if I go with Mandalore's... Uh... Sorry, guys. Where is it? God, they hide things so well. I mean, you can rep all the dark side stuff. Mandalore's repeating. It's 2 to 12. But look at all this extra bonus stuff. I'd say overall it's better and it's fully upgradable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. My ninja Mandalore has to wear that. You know what I mean. Okay. Skills. Easy peasy. All right, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Really quickly, we'll see if we can zip over. 
I'm also going to see what I can craft. For. Actually, what's upgradable for them? Uh, scope and chamber. Scope and chamber? Oh, it's fully upgradable. Well, I'm just going to go here then. That way I don't have to do it on the, uh, on the Ebon Hawk. Alright, ranged. What's got stuff? Zabrak, I don't know what's got stuff. That's what I gotta find out. I think I might have taken them all off. Zerzium? Where is it? I lost it. Oh, weird. I think we're good. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Where's Mandalore's thing? Acknowledge what's wrong. It said it was fully upgradable. But it isn't. I didn't see it. I'll just go all and I'll see if I can find Mandalore's... Well, it should be under the equip section, right? It's not, guys. That's interesting. Attack modifier, damage boost. I actually don't think... I think... What's none? Damage bonus. That's energy. I'll do that. I'll increase attack modifier. Look at the damage bonus there. Amplifying, precision. I think that sounds good. I don't know why I can't upgrade Mandalore as it's supposed to be. 4 to 20. I think that's probably the best sword in the game. I don't know who's going to rep that, but... Just in case there's somebody else. Feels weird, hey? Sith Tremor Sword? Nope. It's just not as good. This is just, honestly, this is just for fun at this point. Sith War Sword. Ludo Crashes is actually kind of rubbish. Oh, I can't, I can't upgrade those? Oh, okay. I think I'll leave that. Zabrak. So, eh. Yeah, I'll leave it. That's fine. Alright, well, it is what it is. Sorry, guys. I get distracted easily. I was hoping I'd be able to upgrade that for... Uh... Where is it? Sorry, where's the map? Docks. There's supposed to be one of the... There's supposed to be in the middle. There's supposed to be the, uh, the land speeder. Oh, you know what? I realize I have to do something. I'll do it on the way when I go to Dantooine. No, wait a minute. I'm gonna, gonna do it here. I'm gonna do it right now. Sorry, guys. Wait a minute. Where was she? Girl, is this you over here? You're over here, right? Yeah, because I could set up the trade routes. I'm glad I stopped by here. Talking about trade routes. Honor is in chaos, but you might have might trade with Mandalorians on Duxin. Set up connections. Is that it? Starport Visa. I can't even go back, so I don't even think that mission's gonna be completable, unfortunately. Anyway, guys, we're just gonna zip back. Hopefully, rather quick. Okay, use it. These guys, right? Travel here in search of work, and if we find a working arrangement, then I'm sure you could be included in. I'm not here for any mercenary work. 
I'm here to return your clan to Duxon, where I am restoring our people to their former glory. Mandalore? But after Revan defeated Mandalore, no new one was chosen. I intend to rectify that error. I have no doubt that you believe that you are Mandalore. But look at the situation we are in now. Anyone could buy a helmet from a swoop track and make such a claim. And the last time Mandalore traveled in the company of non-Mandalorians, we were pledged to Exar Kun. I have allied myself with Mandalore. A Jedi? Perhaps you are deserving of the title of Mandalore. I heard rumors from Isis about Mandalorian sightings on Duxon. So perhaps there is truth to what you say. Very well, Mandalore. My clan will follow you and make for Duxon. So that another clan might be added to the strength of your army. Excuse us. We must gather the rest of our clan and deliver them the news. Well, there you go. Little something else I never done before. So thank you very much who suggested that. Little influence area there. Yeah, what do you? Narshada. Oh, I don't really care. All right, guys. We'll all go ahead and we'll fast travel. Okay, come on. Back onto the what you might call it. And we'll see you guys back on the Ebon Hawk. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danq8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, danq8000. Instagram, danq8000. And Snapchat, danq8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% off your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code danq8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style. It's dialed Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens. Sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us. They don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get light sabered. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash. To bed intruder, got that glocking, got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Who you damn fools? Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn Q. Yeah, it was never ever a game.